Hey, Shadow, it's coming to you live. Why are you on fire? Greenblood, tell me, do you remember that young recruit I spoke to you about? I would still like to present him to you. So then, would you like to accompany me to meet him? But of course, let's go. Raina must be with the other recruits in the barracks. I had thought you were a lone wolf with only our good friend in your pack. But I was mistaken. I am full of surprises, pretty she-wolf. Oh, it's super close. Good day, soldiers. Your Excellency. Captain. Soldiers, may we be of service. <laughs> Rank and assignment, soldiers. Recruit, first class, Blue Silver Regiment, 8th Company, Your Excellency. The Blue Silver Regiment is made up of men attributed to serve the Congregation of Merchants. I'm one of them, and the 8th Company was sent to Tier for D with two other companies. Anything else, Excellency? What is your charge? Maintain order in the city, Excellency. Anything else, Excellency? I'm looking for the soldier, Rayner. Is he in the barracks? I never heard that name before, Captain. Never heard the name, Captain. That's strange. I'm certain he was sent here. Maybe he's been moved since then. When was the last time you'd heard news of him? In Serene. Just before our departure, but that's been a couple of months. If I may, Captain, sh should I have a word with the Quartermaster? That's right, Captain. He has a register with the affectations of every recruit in the Blue Silver Regiment. Anything else, Excellency? That will be all. At ease, soldiers. Your Excellency. What can I do for you? I've been looking for one of my recruits. Goes by the name of Rayner. I would like for His Excellency to meet him. Rayner? I'm sorry, Kurt. I thought you'd been informed. Informed about what? He is dead. He was found, drowned in the port harbor day before yesterday. I was told he had too much to drink and fell in. I'm extremely sorry, Kurt. The young men drink more than they can handle when they're on leave. That's bollocks. 
That lad isn't the sort to sully himself with drink. I don't believe it. People change. When they're far from home, the lads have little else to do. I still don't believe it. Listen, you might as well go and ask the doctor down in the morgue. I might have misunderstood what was reported to me. Those doctors use such long words for simple things. Excellent idea. At least now you'll see it for yourself. You're right. Let's go. Is there anything else? No, thank you. We're upstairs. <laughs> oh, here they are, sorry. Well now, a visit. Can I help you with something? Whatever is a doctor of the Bridge Alliance doing in the barracks of the new Serene Coin Guard? I was posted here from the University of Al Saad, as per their agreement with the Guard. Agreement? What sort of agreement? The Guard requested dedicated doctors for the care of their troops. The University accepted under two conditions. That the doctors practice only in the territories of the bridge or her allies, and that we have the privilege of examining all of their corpses in the interest of anatomical study. These requests were made official thanks to the agreement charter. And I must say, we have been able to increase our knowledge of anatomy immensely. Anything else? We are here concerning the matter of Recruit Reyna. Are you family or friends? You could say that. I'm the one who recruited the lad. I see. Well, what I can do is tell you what I can. When was the body brought to you? Day before yesterday, in the early morning. Can you tell me anything about the circumstances? All I know is what I was told by the fellows who brought the body to me. They said they'd spent the evening together at the tavern, that they'd had a great deal to drink. A horrid habit the soldiers all seemed to share. Rayner was not a drinker. Maybe not. All the same, he was drinking that night. He stepped outside for a moment and never came back in. His companions found him drowned in the bay early morn. And they brought him to me. How then did he die, in your opinion? He drowned. I'm sorry. It's regrettable. He was quite a young man. Yeah, and his death makes no sense. He didn't drink, and he knew how to swim. All the same, that's what happened. I greatly regret it. Might we take a look at the body? Um, no. I wouldn't recommend that. To see your friend in such a state. I'm a soldier, Doc. I've seen a number of men in pieces. Let me see the young lad. I... I regret, Captain, I cannot allow that. I have as of yet to present myself. I'm Sir de Sardé, legate of the Congregation of Merchants on Tiafredi. And as the title infers, I have the power to inspect this barracks and all that it contains. Therefore, I must insist. I see. A thousand pardons, Excellency. I should have recognized you and shown more respect. It's the body in the middle. Examine him if you must. But please be so kind as to not leave a mess after you. This one is just a boy. His face is still locked in an expression of pain. Kurt, hmm. is this your recruit? Yes, that's my Rainer. Poor kid. 
I should have left him with his family where he was. If you want to learn more, we'll need to examine the body. Is that all right? He's not the first young man I've seen with the lights gone from his eyes. Go on. I'm no doctor, but this boy doesn't seem to have drowned at all. It looks like he's been beaten. It's suspicious. The boy I knew would never have drunk himself senseless to the point he'd fall into the bay, I'm telling you. I believe you, Kurt. But if we want to prove it, we'll need to find more evidence. Why did he say he drowned then? He didn't even write in the notes that he drowned. Excuse me, Doctor, but you owe us a few explanations. This boy did not die by drowning. It is absolutely the cause of death, I assure you. The science of death is a complex art, and you are certainly not a doctor. That is true, but you are. Do you recognize your own notes? Your writing is hard to read, but the word drowning never appears. Oh, what an idiot. I should have burned those notes. I am truly sorry. I, I swear I have never, ever falsified a report before. But I was given no choice in the matter. How's that? What are you talking about? <laughs> Two men, uh, uh, lieutenants, I believe, brought a body to me telling me the boy had drowned in an accident. I saw immediately this was a lie, but I did not push the matter. I began my examination, planning to submit my report to the quartermaster as per usual. But the men returned. I was told to forget what I'd discovered and say that he had indeed drowned, or else. Who were they? I have no idea. I had never seen them before at the barracks. I, I guess their rank by their uniforms. What colors were they sporting? None. They must have removed the emblems of their regiment. Listen, it's obvious that this boy was beaten repetitively, and that was the cause of death. I have no intention of suffering the same fate. Have no fear, Doctor. We will make no mention of your name. Andivor Styre. That means, may the earth welcome him. I am sorry for you, Kurt. Thank She's you, annoying. Sir. What, does this guy look just like me? Similar. Oh my god, he looks very similar. No problem. Hello, Your <sighs> Excellency. What can I do for you? Oh. We have a situation, Manfred. Rayner didn't drown. The doctor falsified his report. He was threatened and feared for his own life. You have to be pulling me leg. Who bullied the crow face? Lieutenants that he didn't recognize, alas. And who wore no regiment emblems. Which regiment was Rayner assigned to? I would like to have a word with his commanding officer. Let me have a look at the register. My memory isn't what it once was. He Stab my heart with a rusty blade. His name's been crossed out. Oh, if I catch the bastard that did that. What mess was the boy into, Manfred? What could this be about? 
Your lad was in the 6th or maybe the 11th before being reassigned to who knows where. Just like that? You out of everyone have to know where the recruits are assigned. Not of late. This isn't the first lad who's been reassigned all of a sudden at the drop of a hat. Each time I start complaining about it, I'm told they've changed regiments. And it's not my concern. Something truly bizarre is going on here. I don't like this at all. Let's try and discover which company he was stationed at before this mysterious reassignment. Is there anything else? No, thank you. I need to get to the bottom of this mystery, Greenblood. I don't like being taken for a fool. Even if the lieutenants weren't stationed at these barracks, someone here must know where Rayner was assigned. We should also go and check the tavern. Men on leave will perhaps have looser lips than those within the walls. Good day, soldier. Uh, good day, my lord. De Sardé, legate of the congregation on Tier Fredi. Captain Kurt. Oh, I... Excuse me, Excellency. I... I didn't know. Captain, I... I truly am sorry. At your service, my lord. Excellency. Since you know who we are, present yourself, soldier. Ah. Yes, sir. Recruit 2nd Class Alric, Blue Silver Regiment, 11th Company. At your service. Anything else? You don't quite look like you've got the hang of all this. How long have you been in? I... Is it that obvious? It's quite normal for a new recruit. I joined up four months ago. But at the beginning, we were on board ship, you see. I don't know if that really counts. I started exercises when we got to New Serene. But I'm making progress, they say. And do you like it here? I sure do. That's why I joined the guard. To come here, to leave the continent. Know what I mean? I do. Anything else? Here. You seem tired and a little on edge. A drink would do you some good. It's just that... I don't know if I'm allowed. You're on leave, or you wouldn't be at the tavern. Then why not? Yes, but this is His Excellency's own bottle. I don't know if I can. Drink, I tell you. Now then, why don't you tell us what you know about Rain? Well, I didn't. I didn't serve with him. Well, not really. We just crossed paths. He was leaving the 11th when I joined. Everyone said he was good, strong, What's up, and uh, followed ah. orders. And then, poof, Lieutenant got this order, and he wasn't happy. And I mean, really, quite unhappy. And then Rayner. He was gone. We oh, never saw him again. We asked no, where okay. he'd been sent, but the lieutenant didn't want to tell us. Yeah. Said that it was none of our business. I'm like completely but ready, you, so. He won't be able to say no to you. You should go and offer him a drink, too. Where can we find your lieutenant? At the barracks. Thank you. And watch yourself when leaving. Wouldn't want you to fall into the bay. That will be all, soldier. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Your Excellency. Sorry guys. <laughs> I took a massive shit. You should have seen it. It was like over a foot long. It was literally, uh, it was probably the biggest one I've ever taken. <laughs> She's like, nah. <sighs> Greetings, sire. Are you our governor's cousin? Hello, Your Excellency. I hope you're having a pleasant time. Very well. Goodbye, soldier. <laughs> Wasn't there two people to talk to before? I had to choose? Seriously? I thought I'd be able to talk to both of them.
Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? No, huh? thank you. Hello, officer. Excellency, can I do something for you? Could you tell me which company you serve? The 11th, Excellency. Anything else? What's your assignment? The 11th is assigned to road and outpost security for the congregation on the island. As for me, I'm responsible for the training of recruits and the patrol duty roster. Anything else? We are concerned about the death of a young recruit named Rainer. Let's be perfectly straight. We know that Rainer belonged to your company. And as the acting lieutenant instructor, you certainly had him under your command. So just stop with the lies. We've lost enough time here. You know what they say. Guard business is well guarded. And concerns only the guard. Now, unless you've lost your eyesight, you have a captain in front of you. I... I know. But this story is dangerous, Captain. If you have so much as an ounce of respect for the boy, speak to us. Don't you believe he deserves justice? Yes, of course. But you have no idea what's been going on here. If word got round that I've been talking, come back after sundown, when there's fewer folk. Very well. We'll be back. <sighs> Anything else? Thank you, Lieutenant. Farewell. That man was shaking and looking over his shoulder. As if he thought a predator had caught his scent. Whatever could terrify your warriors to jitter so? I don't know yet. But I will find out, Siora. Let's do this. No way not falling through. Come back. No, it doesn't tell us the time.
them. Hey, how's it going? Hope all is well. Good day, my lord. Desade. I'm the emissary of the congregation on Tierfredi. And cousin to the governor. I know exactly who you are. Enchanted. I am Admiral Cabral. One of my noughts accompanies you from time to time, doesn't he? He must still be angry I've set him ashore. But I doubt that you've come here to discuss affectations. What can I do for you? Just I need nothing. to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. What I hadn't hit you. The alarm is not going to stop going off. It's blocked.
Weird. It's blocked. Is your kid wearing the cape? Here are the crates we've been looking for. It appears that one of them has been broken. It's full of weapons. That doesn't seem right. It is our clients that supply us weapons on Tier 3D. You didn't know what was in the crates? Oh my god. I don't concern myself with the commander's business. I should take a look into this. I have some friends here that must know what this is. <sighs> Let me know what you discover. Sure now, way. let's mark these crates and get going. Oh, I'm just doing something wrong. Hey, how's it going? I have this cape on, so that's why I'm not getting attacked. Oh, I love this game. It's awesome. Very, very underappreciated game. Crazy, they're four years old now. No, these aren't the right crates. Classes? Not really. There's like... Yeah, I'll show you. There's, um, different attributes and skills and stuff. There's, what is it? Is it magic? Uh, magic. Magic, science, and melee. Magic, science, and soldier, I think, are the class types. But, there's attribute points, so it's not like you're married These to one. The right crates. Um, when you create your character, though. Tank? No. Yeah, you could be. Right you could just like you put all your points to um, what you call the health, upping your character's health. But I mean, it seems more about like strategy and stuff with the fighting. So health's great and all, but you're, I feel like you're more likely better off. Um, Doing it more balanced. 
Did I already check in here? I checked this already. Oh, I was supposed to mark that one, sorry. It's being kind of buggy right now, but I've also had it open for days. Just having my place in rest mode. Oh, I have the chain to follow up. There we go. Come closer, good people. The cure and wine. If you have a white pan on it, you can climb it. But you need to upgrade your climbing level to climb like rocks and stuff. I'm still climbing level like one. Oh, we're talking to this guy a lot today. Hello, Your Excellency. We have found a way into the storehouse and we have marked all of the crates. <coughs> Perfect. I shall ask my men to follow the same path. One of the crates was damaged. I was quite surprised by what I found in it. Really? To be honest with you, the commander never told me what was in them. I received the order to deliver them as soon as Kurt accomplished his mission without any further instructions. For what it's worth, I thank you for your help, and I hope you can accept this modest token for everything you've done. If you have another moment, Your Excellency, I would like to ask you for your help. We have a serious problem that I did not hear of until recently. A problem that concerns you closely. I'm listening. I was told that some of our soldiers have been extorting large sums of money from the town merchants under the pretext of financing their protection. Are you telling me that the guard is extorting merchants in our city? That's exactly Indeed. what he just said. Some merchants have been assaulted, and one of them has even been found dead. I hope you don't intend to conceal this information. If my cousin learns of this, Oh no, certainly not, Your Excellency. We intend to punish the guilty party with the greatest severity. But the merchants refuse to give us the slightest testimony. The guard frightens them, and rightly so. We won't be able to put a stop to these crimes without outside help. Count on me. I'll take care of it. No, thank you. And it's cool, you can buy memory crystals um, to reset your skills. Too. Like, if your build's just not going good, you can buy a mystery crystal from most of the merchants. Um... I need to buy a ring to use my. Hmm. Just right over an iPhone so I can talk to that lieutenant. Greetings. You look like someone who would know how to use a blade. If you're looking for the best steel, you're in the right place. Weapons, armors, ammunition, I have it all. And if you have a special request, my associates will be glad to make it for you. I'm currently investigating an extortion case involving the guard. Are you one of the merchants who has been threatened? Uh, no! Not at all. I've never heard of this business. Someone must have lied to you. Really? Come on. If you want these guards to be arrested, you need to talk to me. I mean no offense, 
but you won't be able to do anything. And snitching don't end well. I want to hold on to my business and my life. How about some new armor, Your Excellency? I was told that someone found a merchant's body. Did you know him? Of course. The town isn't that big. We all know each other here. Poor Reno. We found his body on the street by the port. He was beaten to death. Kind of like, um... associates half-heartedly took over the shop. Captain. Have the culprits been found? No. Okay. Listen. Nobody wants to talk about this. We don't want any trouble. It's been months since it happened. An investigation's not going to bring him back. You are obviously a victim of these bandits. One of your people is dead. Yet you refuse to help me. Why? It's precisely because one of our people is dead. Now, you can either buy something or let me get back to work. Because I am not going to say one more word about this case. I'm going to show you. Nobody saw anything, nobody knows anything. Oh my god. Do I have two 40s the highest? What I can do. Pieces made to order. Oh, it's a great pleasure to see you again at the fort. Gotta be rid of that. Great pleasure. I don't have enough for it anyway. The best forge in tier for a day. Blades, armor, locks, custom pieces, 
Come closer, good people. The cure and wine from the... Sire, I am pleased to welcome you to the best wine and spirit shop in Tier for D. If you're looking for something to accompany a fine meal, or for a gift for someone, you've come to the right place. Thank you, but I'm not here for that. I'm conducting an investigation. Some merchants are being extorted by members of the Guard. Uh, are you sure? It's probably just a nasty rumor. Someone must have misinformed you. Come now. I'm the Legate of the Congregation. If Guards threaten you, I could arrange protection for you. Threats? No. I assure you. I was told a merchant had been found dead. Really? Oh, I didn't know. No one told me about that. What was his name? Come on, don't take me for a fool. You know very well who I'm talking about. I don't? Really? I don't. So, what sort of wine would you like to pair your food with? You need something strong when eating game? You're obviously terrified. Don't you think it's better to tell me everything? Listen, I've no desire to get into trouble. Please leave me. But if you don't help me, you will never be rid of these guards. I told you, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, this is one of the best games I've ever played. Excellency! Well, it's very unique. Back to my modest... It is an immense honor for me to be of service to such noble clientele. What might I do for you? I'm conducting an investigation. Apparently, some merchants are being extorted by some members of the Guard. Really? That's... that's terrible, Your Excellency. As Legate, it is my duty to ensure the safety and well-being of the citizens of our town. So please, if you have any information... I... I don't know anything. Really. I have only been here for a few months. My partner, who ran the shop before me, had a very bad encounter. And you fear the same thing happening to you? This is what happens around here. So I prefer to hold my tongue and do what is expected of me. If you denounce them, we could end this and charge these men for their crime. I can't take that risk. There are so many of them. Also, I would not be able to name them. Now, I would like to get back to my work. What we need is the money to return. Do you understand? We are very... monitored. I have a plan to stop the culprits, but I'm going to need your help. The next time one of these guards comes to squeeze money out of you, you must ask for more time. The man will threaten you, of course, and he will certainly bring his accomplices. But when they come back in full force to make you pay for your audacity, we will be there to apprehend them. And if your plan fails, I'll end up like Renault. You don't understand. And what if I gave you money to pay for it? If the plan fails, you only have to give them that money. They have no interest in getting rid of those who earn them so much. You are not wrong. Very well. I will do what you ask of me. But for God's sake, when they threaten me, intervene right away. Fear not. We will not let them harm you. When should they be returning? It's hard to predict. Given their habits, I would say... In two days, maybe? Perfect. I will not fail you. Thank you for your visit. See you soon. Come closer, good people. The cure and wine from the continent. Tear for the I'm gonna save it.
Did you get laid enough yet? <laughs> no. Hello, officer. Excellency, can I do something for you? Are you sure that you can't help us? Something terrible has befallen the poor boy. Let's be perfectly straight. We know that Rayner belonged to your company. And as the acting lieutenant instructor, you certainly had him under your command. So just stop with the lies. We've lost enough time here. You know what they say? Guard business is well guarded. And concerns only the guard. Now, unless you've lost your eyesight, you've a captain we already in front listened of you. To this. I... I know. But this story is dangerous, Captain. If you have so much as an ounce of respect for the boy, don't you believe he deserves justice? Yes. But you have no eye come back after sundown. Very well. <sighs> Anything else? Thank you, Lieutenant. Farewell. Uh, it's not late enough yet. Just waiting. You guys are blocking my way. Karans, oh do you need something? I'm sorry about what happened to your mother. How are you feeling? Unwell. I am angry. And I feel an immense void within me. I blame myself for not having been on this battlefield with her. I understand. My mother had the Malachor. And yet I had to leave her behind as she was at death's door. I can't help thinking that I should have stayed by her side, just like you. And you could not have done anything to save her, either. Thank you, Onol Manawi. Your words alleviate my sorrow. <sighs> anything else? <sighs> Do you have oh, anyone? A friend, perhaps, whom you can talk to in this trying, trying time. time? I usually confide in my sister, but she's suffering too. And I think she resents me for not having been there when our mother needed me. Probably. I know we've only known each other for a little while. But if you need someone to talk Simp. To, Simp play. Thank you, Anal Manawi. You are a good person. The and I'm glad that you are my friend. Anything else? I've never heard you talk about your father. Who was he? He was the Donegad of our clan. Oh, he, has, he died yeah, many cycles ago. But this memory is... What happened to him? He was killed as he... My mother never... Anything else? I must leave you. See you later. Can I, like... Some tavern? Can I How do I fast forward time? I could. I could Hello, sleep. Your Excellency. I can sleep in a bed. This is one of the taverns that have a room. I'm gonna go to the 
bed. That's for a time. I like this fit. It's blocked. What? That is my confusion. It's blocked. Why? I need a bit of practice. I need a bit of practice. Seriously? Well, it's gonna be nightfall by the time I figure out how to get to the freaking place. Dude, what? It's impossible to get to. Oh my god. Oh, there it is. Well, wow. I'm an idiot. Is it sundown yet? Let's see if it works. Hello, officer. Excellency, can I do something for you? We are concerned about the death of a young recruit. Let's be perfectly straight. And as the acting lieutenant, so just you know what? I'm concerned. I... If you have, don't you believe? Yes. Rain. Continue. One morning, I got a note telling me he'd been transferred from my company. He'd received a new assignment. I was so furious that I did my own little investigation to see where he'd been sent. It wasn't easy. No one wanted to give me answers. No one seemed to know anything. But one thing's for certain. Rainer wasn't the only man to have... disappeared. I learned that a good many recruits, all the cream of the crop, had been reassigned. And finally, I learned about the existence of a phantom regiment. What sort of nonsense are you talking about? A sort of secret elite company that were following a special training program. Where can we find them? I've no idea. I had to put my investigation to rest. Things were getting dangerous. I began to sense I was being watched. This regiment protects its secrets at all costs with few scruples. If you want to know more, the training officer of the Sixth might know something. It has been said that he took part in one of their missions alongside them. 
Are you certain you've nothing more to tell me about this infamous secret regiment? I've told you everything I know, <laughs> at the risk of ending up like Rainer, Excellency. Go and see the Officer of the Sixth if you want to learn more. And leave me alone now. Anything else? Are you certain you've nothing more to tell me about this infamous secret regiment? I've told you everything I know, at the risk of ending up like Rainer, Excellency. Go and see the Officer of the Sixth if you want to learn more. And leave me alone now. Thank you, Lieutenant. Farewell. I think he's saying Lieutenant. Where am I at with, um... Good day, Lieutenant. Excellency, what's your pleasure? What company do you serve? The Sixth Excellency. Anything else? To where are you assigned? The Sixth Company is in charge of exploration and expansion of the colony of the Congregation of Merchants on the island. We operate mainly in the wilderness areas, in direct contact with the natives. But don't worry, we respect to the letter, Congregation, directives and standing orders. We avoid all confrontation with them as much as possible. Anything else? Tell me about the Phantom Regiment. About what? Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about, Your Excellency. Are you certain you don't know where this Phantom Regiment camp can be found? Absolutely certain. And to be honest, I hope I never hear about this matter again. Rayner was one of my recruits, Lieutenant. A young man that I admired. He was killed. His death was disguised. We've been lied to time and time again. Thanks to my friend, we finally learned that the boy had rejoined the Phantom Regiment. And so now, you're gonna tell me all you know without being a weasel about it. Trust me, you don't want me to lose my nerve. But, Captain, I... Now! I've seen the regiment. Even fought beside them on an operation. On that occasion, our marching orders were kept secret until the last minute. We were asked to remove our regiment emblems. And our pay wasn't even recorded. And of course, we were ordered to speak to no one about it under any circumstances. I hope you realize the risk I'm taking, talking to you about all this. Have no fear. We understand. What was this operation? An attack. A lightning strike on a caravan from the Bridge Alliance. Marvelous. A company that behaves like back alley bandits. I know. It really shakes up the honor code. The regiment is made up of young recruits, carefully chosen. Only the best make it through. The training is extremely arduous. And my guess is that Rainer isn't the only one who's died from it. I know that they set up camp just outside the city, where the men live and train. But I'd be at a loss to tell you precisely where it's found. Sorry, Captain. Thank you, Lieutenant. This story is making me sick. Poor Rainer. If I'd have known, I'd never have recruited him. I'm sorry, Kurt. This isn't your doing. But these filthy phantoms, or whatever they are, are gonna have to settle the debt. Believe me. You do realize that your own commander is certainly involved in this on some level. Outright clandestine operations could not have taken place without his approval. That he's aware of the existence of the regiment, there is no doubt. That he approves of what they're doing. It wouldn't be the first head that didn't know what his hands were up to. What do you wish to do now? <laughs> I'm gonna find the location of this camp. I have a few friends that can certainly help us. And when I know where to smoke out these bastards, I'll go and have a few fiery words. If you were of a mind to accompany me, two of us would not be too many to make sure they settle their debts. Let me know when you discover where they are to be found. You can count on me.
I'm done. Thank you for watching.